Hi, my name is Ashley Johnson. Um, I'm here with my client, Helen. We've worked a lot together. She has some strained relationships with her son, and I'll be working with person centered, the person-centered theory today uh, regarding that strained relationship. Hi, Helen. How have you been feeling today? I'm kind of in the dumps today. Um, I'm really very sad about yesterday, which was Valentine's Day, and I did not hear from either of my boys, and a lot of the ladies here got cards or flowers, or they got visits from their kids, and I didn't get, and it just really makes me feel lousy. Of course, I know you must feel very bad, and that your feelings are definitely very legitimate. I'm so sorry that you had to go through that, and you felt so hurt. That must be very hard for you, because um, I know we've talked before, especially, you know, living in this facility, in a long-term care facility, um, that, you know, your self-actualization, you're having kind of a difficult time with that being in a situation like this. Um, well, I'm very sorry that that happened, and I'm, I'm hearing that you're kind of depressed. Uh, but did you do anything good yesterday? Well, the ladies, the little girls from from the college came and they did nails, and so that was that was fun. They're they're nice nice young Christian girls. Oh, that's so wonderful! That's really great. Um, so they did your nails. They did. They look beautiful. I love them. They look really good. I'm Thank I'm so you. proud of you for really getting out there and you know. Doing some of the activities. I, I did. I did what you told me to do, even though I don't like being with them because you know they're all, they're all. Um, but I did go, and it, and it was a nice little um, event, so that was good. Well, that's great because I know I know your spirituality. We've talked about that. Your spirituality is very important to you, which is you know a wonderful thing that you have that, um, and you know you have some very strong beliefs, which is it's a very positive thing to have. Um, and you got to spend some time, you said, with some very good Christian girls yesterday. And it was a wholesome, it was a wholesome, nice Christian activity. And they, they had some nice, uh, music there also. But my boys did not call me. Okay. I, and I hear that you're, you're really upset. Um, is there one that you're more upset with or? What's kind well, of going on? Have you talked to either of them this um, week? I haven't. Um, last week I talked to my son in Florida, and I love talking to him. Um, That's wonderful that you love talking to him. It is, but um, he got angry with me on the phone because, you know, he is 45 years old and he has never been married. It sounds like that must be very hard for you. It's unnatural. What kind of a of a of a man is not married at forty five and he lives with another man? Okay. Um. I mean, my goodness. That must be that must be very difficult a, a situation. I know we had talked about you know really wanting to have grandkids and you know, I really empathize with the fact that you know you feel that void. That's that's a very hard a hard thing to to not have when you really thought that that was kind of what your life was going to be. Um, so when you talk to him, is there anything good that came out of, out of your conversation? Well, I mean, it was a good conversation. That's good. He's a pilot, you know, and he That's flies. Amazing. Yes, he flies all over, and then he lives with that man. I mean, okay. What kind of an arrangement is that? I don't, I don't approve of that kind of lifestyle. And so I told him that, and he got very, very irritated with me, and he hung up the phone. It, it must be a very, you know, difficult situation that you're in, especially being, you know, kind of far away from him. And I can understand how difficult it can be for you to feel that, it, it sounds like you really feel that you want to, push him in the correct direction, you know, regarding your Christianity. And it must be very difficult that he has incongruent and different ideals and lifestyles than you do. You are absolutely right. He does. I just don't approve of that. Right. Um, 
so you, you kind of feel really strongly, you know, about what people do, even though they don't, they do kind of disagree though, right? Is that kind of what's kind of going on, your son, and you really disagree on his lifestyle? Yes, I think you're right about that. So what kind of positive things, you know, do you get to talk about that's, you know, wonderful because you are, you know, a strong woman and you, you know, you raised two wonderful sons. Um, I know, but they don't visit me. And then he was so angry on the phone and I'm just very upset. Right. Um, so, you know, having, you know, a different, it definitely seems like you have a, a bit of a different point of view on you know, how he should live and how your son should live in California as well. Yes. Well, the son in California, he does not call me either. And I don't appreciate that. And he is married. He has a, a young family. And I guess he's just too busy for me, even though I worked very hard to raise those two boys. Right. I mean, you pretty much did it on your own, correct? I did. Which is a very strong a very a great feat that many women can't do and you know you should be very proud of yourself um for be able, being able to do that um it's just it's really wonderful uh well thank you so much of for, course. for noticing that and i i just get I, i'm so glad when when my boys remember me and when they call me but then like there's always problems and I get very, very aggravated and I, my son in Florida, I don't approve of that kind of talk and, and, and the things that he does and, and now I, I just don't know what to do. It, it must be very confusing for you to, you know, being, having such a strong spirituality, um, to be thrown into a situation like that. It must be very difficult to, to have that, to have your such strong belief, which is a wonderful thing to have, you know, such spirituality, um, to then be faced with such a different situation and someone that has such different views on things, um, you know, has, are there things that you could talk about that, you know, you are, that you do have the same views on that you can you know, focus on? Yes. And, and we like to talk about books and... It's wonderful. Yes. And I think that um, now that I'm thinking about what you said, it's when we talk about the religion and, and marriage that he gets very angry with me. And maybe if I didn't talk about those things so much that maybe we could have more nice conversations. That sounds like you have really thought about it. And, you know, I think that's very um, astute of you to really kind of see, see his beliefs um, and your own. They're not the same, but that you can still have a relationship with someone and care about them. And I think that that's, that's wonderful that you can see that. And, you know, that's that's a, a big step in the direction that you want to have a relationship with your son. And I think, you know, that should be something that you're really proud of this week. I think that that's, that's really wonderful, you know, that you can think that, you know, maybe instead of talking about that, really focus on the things that you, you two do have common ground on. Yeah, because I don't think he he likes me talking about um, the man that lives with him or or about the fact that he doesn't ever go to mass. Of course, I think that makes him uncomfortable. Well, I think that you've done a really good job this week, and I'm really proud of you. And I think that that'd be a good you know starting point for next week when we get together um, to kind of see how that works out. How does that sound? That sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you. God bless you too.